volatility was the boss on the stock market during the past weeks. The stock market broke record highs in February, then it came down at record-breaking speed in March and in April it started recovering at record-breaking speed. This kind of volatility can be a staggering experience for those who invest in stocks. Nevertheless, there are some economic domains that managed to appreciate during this health and financial crisis, with lockdowns all around the world. Moreover, some of these areas are likely to gain more traction in the coming months, so it is worth keeping an eye on them. In this video we will look at how the stock market performed recently and I will highlight the main areas that appreciated during the so-called great lockdown and will likely turn out to be profitable in the near future as well. So make sure to watch this video till end, push the like button, so YouTube shows this to others as well, and please don't forget to subscribe to support the channel. And here we begin. Let's see how the stock market performed recently by checking out some interesting numbers. On February 12, 2020 the Dow Jones reached 29,550 points. It was all looking well, the economy was booming till the point when this new illness started spreading and soon people were told to stay at home, businesses started making less money, many of them were forced to shut down and fire a furlough employees. That brings us to March 23rd, when the Dow Jones came down to 18,591 points. That's a staggering 40% drop off of its high and that's also the fastest drop in the stock market in history. This incredible drop basically made the bells ring for the US Federal Reserve, which came out and announced that it will use its power to print trillions of dollars and pump money into the stock market and hence the economy. The money the Fed injected into the markets helped the stock market to rise again. So on May 8 it was up at 24,200 points, 30% higher than the March lows and more than 15% lower than its February highs. There is no doubt, that many people lost a lot of money during this unprecedented volatility. However, those who invested in the right companies, made significant profits. Now let's check out some areas that performed well during this crisis. Since many people were stuck at home, video conferencing has become one of the easiest ways to keep in touch with family and friends. Zoom, for example has seen an unprecedented growth in the number of users. You've probably seen this chart showing that Zoom is now worth more than the world's seven biggest airlines. Online gaming is another sector that grew significantly. 65% of Americans already play video games and that number continues to grow day by day. Statistics show, that industry revenues are up 35% compared to last year at this time, and worldwide, gamers spend $1.6 billion every month to play. This also brings us to virtual desktops and cloud-based technology. Since people are also working remotely, demand for sharing documents and files easily is on the rise. Cisco, for example has incredible numbers as proof. Services and products turned out to be great investments. Let's take Apple as an example. The company was less efficient regarding the sales of phones or computers, but their services brought in more revenue than their hardware. Pharma stocks were on the rise during this health and financial crisis and that is nevertheless understandable. Many companies are rushing to find a vaccine and are even partnering up with each other. E-commerce platforms also did great during this period. Online sales went through the roof with people staying at home and Shopify, for example is reporting staggering sales. According to CNBC, Shopify shares have been on a tier, soaring 20% in May alone and pushing its 2020 gains to more than 90%. Social media is another domain, where significant growth can be seen. The number of Facebook, Instagram, Twitter or WhatsApp users is on a continuous rise and the so-called FANG family, that is Facebook, Amazon, Apple, Netflix and Alphabet surpassed 3 billion users. Even though advertising on some of these platforms declined, many expect a great surge in advertising again after lockdowns are lifted. Online streaming services also performed well. Netflix for example appreciated almost 15% in 2020. Online education is another sector climbing the stock ladder. With so many schools around the world closed, studying online has become the new trend. But it's not just students using e-learning platforms, but those who want to learn new skills as well. Chinese education-related stocks have registered massive gains, but European and US platforms also performed well. All these domains are becoming trendier than ever, which means it's worth keeping an eye on them in the future as well. Remember though, investing always has risks, so make your research before investing on the stock market. Thank you for watching, I really appreciate it, and don't forget to subscribe to support the channel.